Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today uh, we are going to solve De Brugger University question paper of BSc second sem wave and optics of physics. And this is part one. We're going to complete this paper in uh, three or four videos. So this is the part one, right? So before we start, please subscribe the channel, stay connected, and share with your friends. And if you think my videos are helpful, then hit the thumbs up button. Also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded. So now let's start. So here is the first question. So the correct option of the following. So first one is for a particle executing simple harmonic motion, uh, its velocity dy by dt at any instant is given by which option is correct? So option is three. So let me show you how. So suppose we have uh, this is the equation. Uh, representing a simple harmonic motion y is equal to a sine omega t right so here a is amplitude so this is the you know displacement uh, at an instant t right so now you see in order to find a velocity we need to differentiate it so dy by dt so a omega cos omega t right so we're gonna get that so now from this uh, first equation so what are we gonna get here you see uh, from this first equation we can write that cos omega t that will be equal to root over 1 minus y square by a square so let me show you how just wait so here you see let me write these things here so here you see you can simplify this this way y by a is equal to sine omega t right and we know that cos omega t that will be 1 minus sine square omega t this is very simple to communicate identity so if you apply that now let's put the value of uh, this sine omega t here then you will get 1 minus y square by a square right so let me write it properly y square by a square okay so now you see let us replace this cos omega t by this value then what you will get then you will get dy by dt is equal to a omega root over 1 minus y square by a square right now uh, just uh, do one thing uh, before putting this value let me do one uh, more simplification so this can be written as a square minus y square by a square right so the square root of a square is a so we can write a square minus y square divided root over a square minus y square divided by a right so let us put this value here okay so then you will get dy by dt is equal to a omega root over a square minus y square by a square and this a, a cancels so this implies dy by dt is equal to omega root over a square minus y square right so this is the correct option so hope you have understood this now let's move on to next question so let me show you something here so now you see this is suppose x uh, x a sine omega t so if we consider that uh, these two simple harmonic vibrations uh, equal amplitude and frequency they they are they have phase difference suppose pi by 2 then the if this is the one and the next harmonic uh, simple harmonic vibration the other simple harmonic vibration should be uh, y a cos omega t right that should be the uh, another uh, simple harmonic vibrations equation so here you see uh, in both uh, in these two equations are differ by the, the part difference uh, sorry the phase difference of these two that is pi because you see here you see let me write here something suppose if you take this one sine omega t plus pi by 2 so this pi by 2 is the phase difference here because sine pi by 2 plus theta is cos theta so here we will get a cos omega 
empty right so now you see if you square and add these two equations if if you square and add these two equations x square uh, plus y square that's going to be equal to a square is taken common sine square omega t plus cos square omega t so then is equal to a square into 1 because sine square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so then this equation is going to be x square by a square plus y square by a square that is equal to 1 so or you can write you can keep the equation like this way also just you can keep the equation this way also this is the equation of a circle uh, with radius a right so this is the equation of circle so the first option will be correct if the phase difference is pi by 2 so hope you have understood now phase difference between two points on a wave front. on a wave front so on a wave front uh, the phase uh, you know uh, if you take any two points on a wave front uh, both are on the same wave front then their phase difference always be zero right so that's why option three is correct so hope you have understood now let's move on to next question now here you see uh, in a single slit uh, diffraction pattern when the light of smaller wavelength is used the width of the central maximum uh, should be decreased here you see this is the single slit experiment so this is the width of the central maximum suppose So this uh, this width of the slit is suppose a and this distance between this slit and this screen is suppose d. Then the width of this central maximum is given by this expression. Width of the central maximum. is given by 2d lambda a so from here we can clearly say that if lambda decreases then width of the central maxima decrease and if this lambda increases then width of the central maxima also increase so as we are using light of a smaller wavelength so central maxima must be decreasing so hope you have understood this so here is the next question when the diameter of the objective of an astronomical telescope is doubled its limit of resolution so now you see diameter of the so let me write in short the diameter is inversely proportional to the limit of resolution limit of resolution so if you write equal then there should be a constant k into 1 by l suppose let me take that way so l is equal to k by d so this is equation number one so if the diameter is doubled right if the diameter is doubled that means twice d suppose then the new resolution will be k by twice d so half into k by twice uh, k by d so k by d is L, right so this new resolution limit of resolution becomes half of the uh, initial uh, resolution limit of resolution so it is halved like uh, <coughs> so hope you have understood this now you see remaining questions uh, we will continue the remaining questions in the next video so hope you have understood this and stay connected if you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel hit the thumbs up button also share with your friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded or next part of this video will be uploaded okay see you soon thank you for watching bye